Hi students, welcome to Bridge Course conducting by Samagra Shiksha Siddhipet. This is level 3 for 6th, 7th and 8th classes 2021 and 22 subject mathematics. Here myself we are Jekumar Reddy, SA Mathematics, ZPHS Kukunurpalli, Mandal Kondapal. Today our topic is Perimeter of 2D Shapes. Learning outcomes of this video. By the end of the lesson, students are able to learn and calculate the perimeter of a square, find the perimeter of the rectangle, calculate the perimeter of a regular polygon. Now, observe these figures. What are they doing in this picture? They are adjusting and preparing the boundary of the field for proper use and to protect the crop. They have to finish the leveling of that boundary. What will be the total cost if the daily wages of them are rupees 20 per meter? Can you tell the total cost or total wages for them? To know the total cost, we need to find the total length of the boundary of the field. Think about the total length of the boundary of the field. This is the boundary for those fields. What is the total length of all sides of that field? The total length of the field boundary is its perimeter. Today we are going to learn the concept perimeter. The length of the boundary of the field is its perimeter. Perimeter is equal to sum of the lengths of all sides of the shape. Let us take one example. This is one field. Observe the shape of the field. Now see the lengths of the slides, sides of the field. First side is 18 meters and followed by 10 meters, 14 meters, 16 meters, 13 meters and 12 meters. Now what is the perimeter of this field? Perimeter of the field is sum of the all lengths of the sides of that field. Now perimeter is equal to we have to add all the lengths. So here 18 plus 10 meters plus 14 meters plus 16 meters plus 13 meters plus 12 meters. Children add these all numbers and get the perimeter. Now the answer is perimeter is 83 meters. In this way we have to find perimeter. Let us take another field here. Now the shape of the field is in this way and the measurements of the sides are given like this. What is the perimeter of this shape? Perimeter is equal to sum of all the lengths of sides. Hence, 20 plus, 40 plus, 60 plus, 50 plus, 50. Then the answer is 220 meters. Let us take now another example polygon. This is four sided closed polygon and the measurements are given like this. 12 centimeters, 10 centimeters, 9 centimeters. And here perimeter is given as 45 centimeters. Then what about the fourth measurement? It is unknown. We need to find the fourth one. What is the measure of unknown side? Perimeter is equal to sum of all sides. With the help of this, we can find the unknown value. Perimeter 45 is equal to 12 plus 10 plus 9 plus the unknown value. It is 45 is equal to 31 plus unknown value. Hence the unknown value is 45 minus 31. We get 14 centimeters. We applied here perimeter. Now let us find the perimeter of 2D shapes. For example, we are taking here one triangle whose measurements are 6 centimeters, 6 centimeters and 6 centimeters. What is the perimeter of this, this triangle? Now perimeter is equal to sum of all the lengths of the sides. Now we need to add 6 plus 6 plus 6, we get 18 centimeters. Here all the sides are equal in length that we have to observe. Let us take one more 
triangle. Here we have taken 9 centimeters, 9 centimeters, and 9 centimeters. Now find the perimeter of this triangle. So perimeter is equal to sum of all the sides here. Hence the perimeter is 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27 centimeters. Here also all the sides are equal. What is the triangle when the sides all are equal? Yeah. Now let us take one general triangle whose lengths are equal. Then try to tell the perimeter of this equilateral triangle. So when the perimeter we are taking equal sides, we have to add all the sides. Hence the perimeter is 3a. So we can write the formula like this. Perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 3 into length of the side. Now let us take four sides are equal here. This is called square and whose measurements are 4 centimeters each. Now find the perimeter of this square. So perimeter is equal to 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, 16 centimeters. Here also all sides are equal here. Let us take another square whose sides are like this, 7 centimeters each. Now before I show on the screen, can you tell the perimeter of this square? Yeah, perimeter of this square is equal to 28 centimeters. Now let us generalize the formula of perimeter for any square. So take one square here whose measurements are all x centimeters. Then can you add all these four and get the perimeter formula? Yeah. Now formulate the perimeter of the square like this x plus x plus x plus x. We get the answer 4 into x, 4x centimeters. Now see the formula. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into length of the side. This is the perimeter of square, any square. Now let us take another 2D figure. Do you know the name of this figure? What are the measurements? L is nothing but length and P stands for breadth. Here two lengths and two breadths. Try to add all these four and try to give the formula of perimeter of this rectangle. You write the formula, two lengths here, two breadths here. Open end task for you children. Write the formula of perimeter of rectangle. Okay. Now let us generalize a formula for all regular polygons. Take one regular polygon of five sides which is called pentagon and the measurements are a centimeters each. Now what is the perimeter here? We should add all this. Perimeter of this regular polygon gives us 5a. Got it children? Let us come to next regular polygon here which has six sides. It is called hexagon whose lengths of sides are a centimeters each here. Now try to write the perimeter of this regular hexagon. So perimeter is equal to a should be added six times. Hence the perimeter is 6a. Now let us generalize the perimeter formula by observing all regular polygons. If it is equilateral triangle, three sides, then what is the perimeter? Three into side. When it is four sided polygon, that is square here and the perimeter is 4 into side. If the sides are 5 here, then perimeter is 5 into side. For regular hexagon, when it is 6 sided polygon, then the perimeter is 6 into side. Now, can you write the formula for a perimeter of n sided regular polygon? Try to write the formula here. Yeah. Perimeter of n sided regular polygon is n into length of the side. So if we know the length of the side and the number of sides, we can find the perimeter. And as well as if you know the perimeter and number of sides, we can find the length of the side. So with the help of this formula, try to create some new questions and discuss with your friends. Note it in your notebook and create some new questions. Okay, children. Now try to solve the questions given on the screen. 
write in your notebook and find the perimeters of each shape here so all the measurements are given in first figure and all sides are equal and each is 1 cm in second figure and third figure try to write in your notebook and solve find the perimeter of these figures okay children thank you for watching this video thank you one and all